Well, good morning from the PAO console here in Mission Control Houston for today's International Space Station update. Right now, the Orbit 2 team is on console monitoring all of the systems on board this orbiting laboratory. Today's team is being led by Flight Director Mike Lammers, and at the Capcom position is Jeremy Hansen, serving as the communication link between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 32, being led by Russian cosmonaut and veteran space flyer Gennady Padalka, currently on his fourth space flight. And then starting on the left, we'll go across the back row with Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. Then joining him on the front row there is uh, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko on his fifth flight, another veteran space flyer from the Russian Space Agency. Moving across the back row, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams on her second long-duration space flight. And then right next to her, another NASA astronaut, Joe Acaba, veteran of one previous space shuttle mission. And then finally, all the way on the right there, is our third Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, a rookie flyer, on his first flight on board the International Space Station. So the crew quite busy today. They uh, all just finished up reviewing some emergency procedures. Uh, just in case there's an ammonia release inside of the station's atmosphere, they walked through their emergency handbooks and conferred with teams on the ground the different steps that they would have to take should uh, such a situation arise. That was all completed successfully, and the crew, made, the crew members were led by Expedition 32 Commander Gennady Padalka, who also today was reviewing some procedures for his upcoming spacewalk, which will be uh, occurring on Monday, August 20th. This will be the 31st Russian uh, spacewalk or EVA extravehicular activity in support of the International Space Station. He'll be uh, stepping outside with fellow Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko and relocating the Strela 2 telescoping boom from the pier's docking compartment to the Zarya module in preparation for the uh, future undocking of piers, which will pave the way for the new Russian multipurpose laboratory module uh, just a little bit later in 2013 or 2014. So again, spacewalkers Gennady Padalka and uh, Yuri Malenchenko reviewing those procedures today. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, is auditing some uh, supplies of spare lighting equipment inside of the Russian segment. He spent some time yesterday replacing a few lights on the Zvezda and Rosviet modules on the Russian side of the house. He'll also be doing some uh, routine maintenance activities on different light Russian life support systems, pending a few ground recommendations on uh, which exactly he'll be working on, whether it's the oxygen generation system in the Russian segment or also doing some more uh, routine toilet replacement work. Moving on to our USOS crew members, Joe Acaba spent a good portion of his day today working in the combustion integrated rack. He's been replacing some hardware in the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus. That combustion integrated rack includes a number of different components like a combustion chamber and also fuel and oxidizer controls and five different cameras for performing combustion experiments safely in microgravity. His fellow NASA astronaut, Sonny Williams, this is doing some work on the uh, extravehicular mobility unit or the spacesuits that our U.S. astronauts wear during their own spacewalks in preparation for her upcoming uh, EVA or spacewalk outside of the station alongside with Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide that's scheduled to take place on July or August 30th. And that will see uh, the two astronauts step outside to replace a uh, failing main bus switching unit, which is uh, a vital portion of the uh, station's electrical power system working to uh, act as a distribution hub to route the power to the different station systems. It first showed indications of a failure back in October of 2011, so they'll be stepping outside to uh, get on the station's truss, which is basically the backbone portion of the station, and replace that uh, failing switching unit. And then if time permits, they'll also be uh, rerouting some cables for that upcoming uh, Russian multipurpose laboratory module in the future, and maybe uh, installing a few debris and thermal covers as well on the pressurized mating adapter too. Then her fellow spacewalker Aki Hoshide today, uh, not doing any uh, EVA preps uh, just yet, but he was taking some water samples from the environmental health system. Uh, inside of the station's water recovery system, specifically from the Total Organic Carbon Analyzer, which looks to uh, analyze the level of carbon in the astronaut's drinking water. It's constantly monitored for different uh, potential contaminants and other things of the like. 
And other than that, he'll also be uh, unst unstowing some unnecessary hardware from the airlock, uh, actually in preparation for the upcoming EVA procedure. And aside from all of these crew activities today, uh, controllers down on the ground, continuing some of the robotic work that's been taking place this week. Uh, they were using the Special Purpose Dexter's Manipulator, or Dexter, today to transfer the Space Communications and Navigation, or SCAN, payload off of the external uh, pallet, which was unloaded from the HCV-3 vehicle yesterday, and they're transferring that to the External Logistics Carrier 3. And uh, a little bit later today, we'll perform a space test program payload survey and then stow Dexter back on the uh, mobile bay uh, station port uh, number two.